Okay, yeah, hi, I'm Chris, and I want to give you a quick introduction to Open Page, a resource that we've developed for entrepreneurs to put together their business plan and start to create their ideas and to formulate their vision and articulate their vision and mission of what they're trying to achieve really. Now the open plan can work in any direction that you wish. Okay, Today I'm going to demonstrate this by starting with the opportunity and then I'm going to come to aims, customers, partners, control, success, operations, marketing, finance, resources and then finally end with model. But actually the reality is you can go in any direction you wish around open page. And this is part of the reason that we've developed open page in the first place. Most textbooks will show you that there's a linear progression that you through to develop uh, your business plan. The reality is it's quite hickledy pickledy. Most people will start with number one, move to number three, back to number two, then across to number six, back to five. So there's a, 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 a backwards and forth way that most people are, are creating their business plans. So it's non-linear is what we're trying to say. And this is the reason that Open Page in part was developed, was to show you that actually that's okay. You don't have to be linear. You can work in any direction you wish to create your, your vision and your mission and your, your uh, business plan. Us, we would start really in the centre here with the opportunity, and the opportunity is here in the middle. The opportunity is your opportunity. What have you identified and what are you trying to implement and bring to market in the, the first place? So your opportunity you have identified, okay? Next, we'll come on to the aims. Well, what are the aims and objectives of what you're trying to achieve with your opportunity? The social venture, are you trying to capitalize or make as much money as possible? What is it you're trying to, to do? What are your aims? Customers really speaks for itself. Who's going to buy from you? And what are those customers doing at present? Is there something they're doing at the moment that maybe would restrict them from using you? And why are they going to use you? Partners, partners are both internal and external. The partners are the people that you're going to use to help you um, achieve your objectives or your aims. The partners can also be suppliers, they can be ex um, anybody that's helping you along the journey really of developing your idea and formulating your um, opportunity and bringing your opportunity to market. Control, for me this is the most boring part, as I've said before, control is about controlling the organisation. It links in really with success. Control is about controlling it. How are you going to keep an eye on your cash flow, on supplies, etc, 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 within the organisation and, and how often and how regularly are you going to check these, these um, controls? Success, how are you going to measure success and what will make success be? We kind of come back to the aims here, in that we're looking at success in terms of monetary success, maybe, or in terms of actually just getting out there, making connections, and getting the product or service out there on the market, maybe. So how are you going to measure this success? Quite an important issue. Operations, what are the steps that you're going to go through, both internally and externally? What are the steps you have to go through to get the product to market? And also, what are the steps your customers have to go through to get the product so whether it's a website, you want them to log on, you want them to pay beforehand, what is it? Marketing kind of speaks for itself, which is over here. This Marketing really connects up with the customers. How are you going to communicate with these customers? Finance. Finance, really we're looking at the first three years, but most importantly, above all, we're looking at the first year. Finance, cash flow, we're looking at three different cash flows. We want the optimistic, the best one. The pragmatic, the, m the most likely outcome, and the uh, pessimistic, the, the, the more negative one. So there's three cash flows for the first 12 months that we're looking for in the finance. But beyond that, we're looking at three years and also your break-even point. Where, where, where is your break-even point for this uh, opportunity that you've, you've identified? Resources. What resources are you going to need to pull in to actually get the thing real, to make the thing real and, and get to market with your product or service? So that kind of ties in a little bit with your um, partners, your resources. What is it you need? Do you need computers? Do you need vehicles, helicopters, aeroplanes, whatever it may be? What are the resources that you need to implement the opportunity and make the opportunity a reality? Finally, and I would you um, keep model to last, which is the reason that it's at the top. What model is the best fit for all this mix that you've come up with? What is the best model to implement the opportunity and bring the opportunity to market? Um, for you.